Okay, let's have a look at the uh, first yet act. Um, um, first of all, the basic setup. If you have a look here um, at this menu, I think the default is um, if you have if you open it for the first time, I think you see only if you see dev folders all in auto probably that's all you see. If you click on dev folders, then this um, um, window opens plugin folders so here you can um, select um, choose the where your where your plugins are mm, at least the ones you want to want to use um, I've had a go at a few uh, few folders um, but basically what you do is uh, you click on new obviously and then it then this window opens if you go back to the beginning of the path starts at um, your um, your root folder macintosh hd uh, or whatever it's called could could have a number of names and then you go to um library and then you go to audio and then you go to plugins and then you have several options um, the components and Well, that I mean, it, it all depends on what you have. Um, some of it is, is is sort of like double. Anyway, um, just say you you want to um, have the SSD, yeah, ST three voltage modular. Okay, let's have a look. Just say you you click on this one, and then you say open, and then you'll see the path here Macintosh High Day Library Audio Plugins VST3 that's that's the one and uh, if you close it again and you open it then I thought um, by choosing and then he would sort of like from then on okay so I see them here this is what in what's inside that folder. Okay, before I go on, I'll have a look. If I choose, let's say, audio plugins, and choose again, and then he'll say components. How am I? Okay, that's inside that folder. Let's go to components folder, and I click. Then there you have what you got in that folder. If you click on, let's say, all, then you open then again, then you have all. Okay, so just to show off, and mind you, I think 70% is not working anymore in the system. Um, so, okay, let's have a look at them. So th this is how it works, yeah? click on the dev folders you choose a path uh, where what folder is you want to uh, add to this list and when you've done that you click on uh, that folder you want to open let's see and what we do here the components click on components yes and then uh, okay then you got the sound hack ones first here. Uh, the morph filter. Okay, now you've selected the morph filter, and then the confusing thing is that this is how it is, you know, by default. And then you have to click once, 
um, and then okay, you do your routing. You can see here, and you or you can route the sinus going to the VST one. That's him. There it is. Chuck, 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 and my voice is there as well. And um, I don't know. Check, 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 check. Okay, that's I don't know. Interesting, interesting. I don't know what's going on. All right, and um, of course you can have more plugins at your disposal by opening another v VST act and then okay then suppose you're going to do something pitch delay why not sound hack pitch delay um, he's on number two check that number two number two check the number two one 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 two feet back yeah okay well There's the yeah, second um, second plugin, well, etc. Basically, that's all I can say for now. I mean, about setting up the this the act. Um, did I miss anything? 